Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. In today's video, we are going to look at these four coins right here. We've got a 99, a 2001, 2004, and 2005 Canadian nickel. Now, interestingly, each one of these coins is actually a little bit different from the other one. So we will talk about that in today's video. Let's start with the 1999. This one right here is copper nickel. So it has a different metal content than these three right here this one right here the 2001 and the 2004 have the same design in the same metal composition however they have slightly different weight to them because this one right here is a little bit different as far as the thickness as far as this one right here this one right here 2003 and after is going to have a thickness of 1.76 millimeters compared to this one right here, which was made from 99 until 2003, which will have a thickness of 1.75 millimeters. So interestingly that we have the metal composition switch from here to here, we have a thickness switch from here to here, and then from here to here, we obviously have a circulating commemorative coin, which was made just in the year 2005. This is known as the uh, Canadian Military History 5th edition, the 60th anniversary of the victory in Europe. Let's move all of these aside and we'll look at them one by one, starting with this one right here. This design was used from 1999 until 2001, and the metal content of the actual coin is a nickel, is a copper nickel. So let me move in. That's compared to some of the other coins that we're going to look at later, which are nickel plated steel. So this one right here has a weight of 4.6 grams. The other coins we'll look at have a weight of 3.95 grams or around there. So uh, obviously they probably made the change to decrease the cost of producing these. Usually the higher uh, weight of the metals, the more expensive they are. But what you're looking at on the reverse side is the beaver. It's a beaver above the country name surrounded with the value flanked on both sides by the maple leaf. So no need to talk about the design too much more until we get to the 2005 coin. On the obverse side of the coin, we see a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. This is her at age 64 years old. Now, as far as the mintage of this coin goes, in 1999, uh, there were 124 million of these coins produced. So by no means are these rare coins. There's hundreds of millions of them that were made. In an uncirculated condition, these coins will be worth $3.92. They also did make some special, special proof coins in 1999 as well. Those will be worth significantly more than your regular circulating coin like you see right here. Now on to the change in thickness. Can't really see it uh, by looking at it on its side, but let's put these side by side, compare the mintages and the weights of these two. So uh, the one on the left, that is a nickel plated steel, that has a weight of 3.925 grams and a thickness of 1.75 millimeters. The one on the right is slightly bigger, made from 2003 and after, that has a weight of 3.95 grams and a thickness of 1.76 millimeters. Now, as far as the mintages of these two coins go, the one on the left, made in 2001, 136 million of these were made. The one on the right, made in 2004, there were 132 million of these made. So we're comparing 136 million to 132 million, almost the same exact mintages for these two coins. All right, now on to the circulating commemorative coin, which might be the reason why you tuned in to see this. This is a very special coin. As you can see, it's got two dates on it that usually indicates in coin collecting that it is a, some type of anniversary. And it is the 60th anniversary of the victory in Europe. On the reverse side, what you see is a reproduction of a coin struck from 1943 until 1945, the central V right here, meaning both victory and the value of the coin. So V is in five for the Roman numeral five. We see cents underneath, 
just so that no one uh, tries to counterfeit it as five dollars it is five cents uh, it's flanked by two maple leaves right here and then we see the left date 1945 and the right date of 2005. now this was a circulating commemorative coin however there weren't that many made for the general circulation there are only 59,258,000 of these that were made in the year 2005. So very low mintage for this coin, especially compared to the other coins that were made. Uh, we were just looking at that 2004. In 2004, they made 132 million, dropped it all the way down to just 59 million. Another change is on the obverse side, we see a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, her at age 77. I guess that's the same as this portrait right here, but it's not the same as this one right here. This one is one of the younger versions of her. So this is her um, at age 64. So we go from 64 to 77 for both of these portraits right here. All right, everyone, that's all the info that I've got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at this cool video of a 2005, a 2004, a 2001, and a 1999 Canadian nickel. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.